let me start off by saying that in no way am I trying to make this video some negative thing or something that's seen bad about myself. I'm, I'm not trying to do that at all. This is why I think failure is a good thing. And honestly, failure is a good thing. And in the long run, it works out really well. Failing at something, whether it's a big project or something small, whatever the case may be, it's never really a real failure. At one point in my life, I had to tell myself, oh, you didn't get that award, or oh, look, you got an F. But that's the thing. It's because of those moments that I want to, that you want to just push yourself more. It adds fuel to wanting to not fail, I guess. You want to make sure that you don't get that F again. You don't, you won't have to go through not getting another award. You want to be better than what you were. And for me, at least, I've never really seen myself as a top dog or someone who was always, you know, at the top of the class or anything. I, if if I got a, if I failed at something, then then that was it. I I wasn't. I never really invested my time into anything before. And if I failed at something, then it was just well, I failed and uh, that's it. But when I found my passions, they, they it, everything changed. My passions really showed how much I want to pursue something. And I failed numerous times, even with my passions, for, you know, competitions or just in general, like I didn't succeed in creating what I wanted to create. There's just numerous things that I failed at already with my passions. But the thing different about my passions is my passions, I want to try with that. I, I want to not fail and I actually don't even see it as failing because in the long run this is my passions are the things that I want to do with my life. I don't see it as failing at all. I see it as a learning process. Anything that deals with my passions and I fail at, then they're just learning they're just learning curves and I'm gonna get over it and whatever I create next will be better than the last. And it's just always a step forward. And that step forward is probably the biggest step, but it's a good one. And it's something that I like personally and it's just it's, it's fulfilling, it, it, it's really fulfilling to know that you're moving and you're not just stuck in a stagnant position for a while. And you know, just because I maybe didn't like school or I didn't invest time into what I wanted to put my time into, that doesn't mean other people can't either. People can put their time into anything that they want. If people want to not fail into school, then they're gonna try harder. If people want to try harder at work or anything else, then they're gonna try harder no matter how much they fail. And that's that's the cool thing about failing is it makes us want to get better. Failing and getting back up just shows how hard we want to push ourselves. And even if you look at it, all of the greats, all of the people that we look up to now and then, they've all failed and succeeded. So, I mean, all in all, that's, that's what I'm striving for. I want to be a great, I want to be the one who failed numerous times and he succeeded in the end. I'm Arjo Sorad and I'll see you in the next one.